That is probably one of my favorite Shelby items in my entire collection. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at and showcasing my entire Shelby collection. So it's going to go from the Shelby kit cars all the way to the Shelby Mustangs and I believe I have a bunch of them. Um, starting off on this wall, I don't have any Shelbys sitting over here, but I do have some right here which you guys already know my 35th anniversary of the Shelby Cobra. This is out of the 1998 Hot Wheels collectibles. This is probably my holy grail in my entire collection because it is signed by Carol Shelby himself as well as Paul Lamatt right here from American Graffiti. Um, this is just an amazing set my brother got me and it is collector number 4114. Um, I've done a video over that, but that is probably one of my favorite Shelby items in my entire collection. Moving on right here, I did pick this up today. It is the 66 GT350 with the 66 C600 hauler, and this thing just looks super clean. This is a 5,880 piece worldwide. Anything Shelby, I'm always going to collect. Um, I just let this sit for some reason, and I thought, you know what, let me just buy it before I regret it. Starting with some big time muscle, I have the 67 GT500 in a metallic silver that looks very similar to how Eleanor looks. Of course, it's not an Eleanor or Ghana 60 Seconds car, but I definitely do love this cast. Below that one, I also have the 65 Shelby Cobra 427SC in burnt orange, which is one of my favorites. Um, in my collection as far as the 427 little kit cars go. Right next to that, I have the 2008 Ford Shelby GT500 KR, which I did for free at Friday. If you haven't checked that one out, check it out. I'll post the link down below. Right below that, I have the 2007 Shelby GT500 with a really nice and clean racing livery on there. Of course, the number seven, and then you do have the classic Shelby wheels on there. Um, this is probably one of my other favorite 2007 Shelby's that I have from Johnny Lightning is a pinup car and this is the 67 Shelby GT 500 in a really deep metallic blue um, and it does have the opening hood and I just absolutely love the 67's you have another Johnny Lightning this is out of the 4th of July of 2000 in celebration of independence another 67 GT 500 and of course the red, white, and blue deco. You have the Jason Winton 67 GT500 right here with the Cowboys deco on that. And then right next to that, you have two 67 GT500s for the Cowboys Stadium with of course the Cowboys deco on there. Um, I do have the Shelby five pack right here, which I picked up when it was originally released. You do have the 69 GT500, you have the Shelby series, you have the kit car, then of course you have the 67 GT500 and then the 2007 GT500 in blue. Right next to that, this is where my Shelby collectibles are. You have the Shelby Cobra 427SC in orange and blue and check out that detail. I picked these up at Menards, which is a home and garden place and I just have never seen these anywhere else. Right next to that, you have the 2012 Shelby GT350 in black and gold. Then you got the 67 Shelby GT500 CR, which looks very clean in black and silver. And check out that detail. Next to that, you have the full race-inspired 65 GT350R. All these castings right here have such amazing detail. Check those out. Moving into Hot Wheels now, you have the 2010 new models, and these are the 67 Shelby GT500. You got it in metallic blue, metallic green with the gold stripe. You have it in a tan metallic. You have the GT500 in yellow and black. Then below that, you have the camouflaged version of it, which is a Walmart exclusive. Then you got it in metallic blue and the yellow flame. Of course, you do have the two different color wheels on there. You have the white MC5s out back and the yellow MC5 trim in the front. Then of course you have the metallic red with the same wheel variation. Of course you have the chrome trim in the back and the gold up front. And below that you have the pearl white with the red and gray 67 GT500. Moving on to the 68, these are the Hot Wheels showroom and this is the red GT500 
pearlescent white and gold GT500, the then and now 68 GT500 in orange, the recolor in a dark green with the yellow tampos, metallic blue with the black and gold setup. We have the metallic blue with the yellow flame and the recolor in a metallic pink. Moving into the 69 Shelby's, you have the 69 GT500 convertible in metallic blue with the black interior and white tampos with the silver aero discs. You have the blue and white with the white interior and chrome five spoke wheels. You have the metallic red with the gold striping and the silver MC5s. Recolor in black with the white interior. Up top, you have the 68 GT500 for the Target Red Edition. Moving into some matchbox you have the 2007 GT500 convertible out of the MBX Adventure City. Um, this is a metallic silver with the red interior and red stripes. Then you have the recolor in blue with the black stripes and black interior. And then the newer re-release of that previous MBX City, the silver GT500. But this is a misprint from Matchbox themselves because there is no such thing as the GT500G. There's a GT500E for extreme, but there is no G, but every card has that for some reason. Have another matchbox, the Hawaii version of the GT500. And then starting back off into Hot Wheels, you have another 2007 GT500 in a metallic blue with the faster than ever wheels. The recolor in metallic green with the faster than evers. Right here is a metallic purple with the yellow racing livery. Another one in matte black with the lime green interior and the J5 wheels. Moving into another lineup of the 2007, you have this really cool metallic red GT500 out of the hip hop series. Um, it does have the red J5s on there. 2010 GT500 in yellow with the black interior and the PR5s. And then the recolor right here in a silver metallic with a lot of flake. Check out how much flake is in this. And the 2010s right here are the only ones that used to come with the taillight tampos. And then they just stopped for some reason. So moving on to this one, you have the 2010 GT500 Super Snake with the faster than ever two variation of the wheels in a really nice metallic teal and orange setup. This was one of my wheel errors I have right here. It is the 2010 GT500 Super Snake. As you see right here, there is one wheel out of the four that are different. And I thought that was really sweet. It looks kind of like a drag setup, so that's why I kind of like it a lot. Um, but that is my wheel error super snake right here in black. Then you have the recolor in blue. We have another Walmart exclusive, the 2010 GT500 super snake in the camo graphic. Super snake in a pearl white with a sky blue as well as some blue chrome PR5s. Got the yellow GT350R which is the 2016 Shelby GT350. The white GT350 recolor. And out of the Nightburner set you do have another Shelby GT350R in the metallic blue and it actually has some really nice taillight details right there. Below that is the 2020 Shelby GT500 in metallic blue, which was the very first release of this cast. And of course you have the GameStop exclusive GT500 in a metallic red. Moving into another Carol Shelby collectible item is the limited edition 85th birthday celebration Cobra 427. As I believe it's a 164, but it looks so much smaller in scale. Um, but I've had this for a very long time. Moving down, you do have the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe out of the Hot Wheels Garage with the really nice real riders on there. Check out this car. You have the CR1 Concept out of the Boulevard series. This thing is really sweet as well, and it is a flat metallic silver. And of course, you have those classic Carroll Shelby style wheels. Below that is the Shelby Cobra out of the Hot Wheels Garage. Um, this one is really, really nice with the red, white, and blue tampos on there. And of course, these 66 numbers on the front as well as the side. We have another Shelby in a almost teal greenish blue color. And for some reason, the windshield is orange. I don't know why that is. Let me know in the comments if you know anything more about that. Below that is the Zamac number 15 out of the 2020 lineup. You have the black and red Shelby Cobra right here. And then the 2005 first edition, this is the Ford Shelby Cobra concept. 
which I just recently picked up probably a couple weeks ago. Moving into my M2s, I do have the Carroll Shelby 66 GT350 in red and white. Check out that detail, guys. That is an amazing and beautiful cast. No Mustang looks better than in red. If you, if you agree, comment down below that red is always the color to go with. Moving on to an off-brand, I do have this. It is out of the Road Signature Collection, the Shelby Cobra 427 SC as well in metallic blue with the white stripes. Moving on to another M2 lineup is the 66 GT350 Gasser in this heavily flaked metallic blue with the gold wheels and gold setup. Another heavy hitter. Um, this was from A Fall Man. It is the 67 GT500 with the eBay deco on there. This was actually one of my favorite ones that I have gotten. More M2s. I do have the 68 GT500 KR in the Coca Cola deco with the matching surfboard. I think this is a really cool one. I picked this one up maybe a couple months ago. Um, so it's not that old in my collection. On to the auto list from M2 you have right here. Another 68 GT500 in a dark metallic red with the black interior and the white vinyl convertible top. Super clean as well as the truck that comes with it. One that I just recently picked up is this color shifting Shelby Cobra right here. It is yellow, but when you put it underwater, it does turn white. And I believe it looks like that. Of course, I won't open it up until I find another one, but yeah, that one I just picked up probably a couple days ago. Moving on to my larger 118 scale, I have another 66 Shelby. It is the GT350H, um, and this thing is super clean in a white with the gold stripes. I don't have too many 118s, but if it's a Carroll Shelby, I'll definitely pick it up. Um, this is another one I've had for a very, very long time, and it is the 65 Shelby GT350 out of the Carroll Shelby School of High Performance Driving. Check out the detail. You can see the road grime all over it. Um, this box is definitely used and abused, um, but I definitely do love this casting. And before I forget, guys, I do have this super clean Johnny Lightning right here. It is the 69 Shelby GT500 convertible with the white on white cast. Check this out. And it does have the Krager wheels on there. And this is one of my favorite Johnny Lightnings out of my entire Johnny Lightning set. And I do have some Johnny Lightnings that I really, really like. Absolutely love that 69 right there. And that is from Big A's Diecast who hooked me up with that. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, guys, that is all I got. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know which one of my castings was your favorite from Big Time Muscle from all the way to Matchbox. Let me know in the comments. And then that's all I got, guys. So thanks for watching. And of course, if you stuck around this long, consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on future videos. And until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.